Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media. IPOB Press Release. 18th July, 2024. Those agitating for the unity of a failed nation like Nigeria are terrorist sponsors and treasury looters. The global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, Abli, led by the great prophet and resolute leader, Mazi Anamdi Okukanu, wishes to remind Nigeria's former Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Tuka Burutai that those agitating for a separate nation are fighting for survival, while those insisting on a forced unity in Nigeria are beneficiaries of corruption and terrorism regimes. The former Army Chief, Lieutenant General Tuka Burutai, at an event in Osun State last Sunday, publicly said that those agitating to exit Nigeria are dreamers. He equally said that the agitators should carry their own parts of land into the Atlantic Ocean. More so, the agitators should be driven into the ocean. By the above statement, the ex-army beast is calling for another genocide against agitators. This Fulani ex-military chief Burutai was responsible for the empowerment of Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria. Under his watch as the army chief, he sponsored the factionalization of Boko Haram terrorists group, which led to the emergence of ISIS in West Africa as WAP. He was responsible for looting the Nigerian army defense funds that led to the massacre of Nigerian soldiers in the north by the terrorists because of inadequate guns and ammunition. A tribal bigot ex-army chief deployed the Nigeria army to the southeast by the code name of Python Dance, which led to the massacre of thousands of Ndigbo. He ordered the invasion of Matsi Namdi Kanu's home by the Nigerian military in a failed assassination attempt of Matsi Namdi Kanu, which led to the massacre of over 28 people in that compound in 2017. In a sane society, a brutal beast like Lieutenant General Tuka Burutai ought to be serving a life imprisonment. Unfortunately, Nigeria is a country that criminalizes the innocent but rewards treasury looters and terrorists like Burutai. The so-called Nigerian unity is only to the benefit of the treasury looters and terrorist sponsors, whose interest is to advance the Fulani jihadist agenda. Indigenous people in Nigeria are victims of this British failed experiment called Nigeria. The arrogance and bitterness in the speech of the retired terrorist army general Burutai have exposed his ignorance on the laws of self-determination. To the mass murderer and his likes, self-determination is a crime, and those involved must be killed and dumped in the ocean. This beast thought he could destroy Biafra agitation by the use of brutal force as a military chief under the notorious felonized former President Buhari imposter. He ordered for the illegal abductions, forceful disappearances, and extrajudicial executions of many Biafrans in an effort to destroy IPOB and Biafra agitation struggle. Unfortunately for him and his fellow murderers, Biafra is a divinely rooted ideology that cannot be destroyed by guns and bullets. IPOB is still matching on with the Biafra struggle agenda, which must be successfully completed. Until the Nigeria government conducts a United Nations supervised referendum for Biafrans to decide their fate in this forced bloody union called Nigeria, the agitation for Biafra will not stop. Lieutenant General Burutai's latest call for another genocide against Biafra agitators will not make Biafrans retreat or surrender the quest for Biafra independence. If, as a head of the murderous Nigerian army under a terrorist sympathetic government of late Buhari, he could not destroy the IPOBO struggle between 2015 and 2022, he should know that Biafra ideology is indestructible. He should also know that no one has a monopoly of violence, that IPOB chose the part of nonviolence is not a sign of weakness or cowardness. Time will tell what our next actions will be. IPOB calls on all the indigenous peoples in Nigeria not to be fooled by the slogan of a united Nigeria always championed by the Fulani oligarchy. The more the indigenous people in Nigerian echo Nigerian unity, the more the Fulani elites import Fulani terrorists to advance the Othman Dan Fodio's ideology to deep the Koran into the Atlantic Ocean. The more the indigenous Hausas, Yorubas, 
and Egbo join the Fulani clamor for unity, the more you extend your suffering and possible Fulani conquest of the entire land belonging to the Egbos, Hausas, Yorubas and all the other ethnicity contained in that contraption called Nigeria. Indigenous people of Hausas, Yorubas and Egbos should ask themselves of what benefit is a united Nigeria where Fulani herdsmen will invade indigenous communities, kill, rape and displace the people while the government security agencies look elsewhere and allow them to do it? Of what benefit is a united Nigeria where Fulani terrorists and bandits will invade people's farms to kill farmers and destroy their farmlands without being arrested by the Nigerian security forces? What benefits is one Nigeria where natural resources in one section of the country are exploited and used to develop another parasitic zone at the expense of others? What is the benefit of a united Nigeria where one section of the country has a monopoly to terrorize others and the victims are not allowed to defend themselves by the Nigerian security forces? United Nigeria is only to the benefit of Fulani invaders who have capitalized on the United Nigeria to export the world's most dangerous terrorists to all parts of Nigeria? Twenty years ago, there were a few Fulanis in the South. But as soon as Fulani cabals grabbed power in 2015, they had imported Fulani terrorists from all over the world into all regions of Nigeria. Today, every region in Nigeria is saturated with imported terrorists waiting to advance their agenda in the name of United Nigeria. Those against the division of Nigeria are indirectly supporting Fulani conquest agenda, while agitators are the ones helping to stop the doomsday. IPUB, led by Masi Namda Kanu, is not ignorant of the Fulani Caliphate's expansion agenda using the mantra of One Nigeria. IPOB is not against the expansion agenda of the Caliphate, but all we are saying is that they give us Biafra and we shall leave Nigeria in peace. Fulani cabals are free to continue one Nigeria with the rest of Nigerians who wish to stay with them. Biafrans are determined to exit a forced unity that has drank the blood of millions of Biafrans. Forced unity is slavery. But we have come to restore Biafra, and that we must do. It doesn't matter how many lies that the murderous Nigeria government was, but in the end, Biafra must be restored, and we shall take our vengeance on our enemies even to their third generation. Comrade Emma Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.